exhibition of the Slot Museum. I'm so excited about today's episode because it's one of my favorite games. In the casino right now, we're taking a look at a modern classic. Can you say that about this game? I don't know, but I just did. We're taking a look at Asian babies today. Not in the creepy way. But uh, we're taking a look at Fudale. Fudali? Fudale? You know the game I'm talking about with the, the kick, 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 you know, they come out and giggle and then you get the, the big wing, you know, the, the firecrackers and whatnot. Let's go ahead and take a fuck this shit. Let's take a look at the fucking game. Maybe I should censor myself. I'm going to show the pay tables just in case I want to edit this again. Alright, the cool thing about having it at home is I can bet $8.88 without going broke too quickly. Actually, let's turn up the volume here. Whoops. Uh, Foodily was developed by Bally's Heads Up Studios. See their little logo up there. It was kind of a, uh, an answer to Shuffle Master's 88 Fortunes. I think, personally, the game is, like, one of Bally's masterpieces. From the music to the graphics, and the, and the, the, the math is actually pretty decent on this. Um, I am a minimum bet person, so when I bet 80, I always bet 88 cents in the casino. And I have done extremely well on this game. And I have, see, oh, we got a bonus. We get eight free games. Eight free games with the option of re-triggering on the fifth reel. If we get a green symbol, adds an extra game for each one we get. Let's go.
Easter egg. If you touch the babies, they giggle. Also, if you're betting eight dollars and eighty-eight cents and only get like a three, four hundred dollar bonus, that's that's ridiculous. At eight dollars and eighty-eight cents, the big win is really a ham pay. So I'm just telling you that now because I've won uh, over four hundred dollars on an eighty-eight cent bet on this game. Oh, envelopes! All right, so you got an envelope right here. If we would have had one on the fifth reel anywhere, we would have won the the jackpot, the red envelope jackpot, which is currently at one hundred and two dollars. Um, betting eight dollars and eighty-eight cents. Uh, it does trigger the the top progressives. Oh, we got another bonus. More frequently, and your red envelope uh, hits more frequently. All right, we got more free games. Let's see how we do. Let's have those babies come out. First spin. not a big win at the bet level. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you like this or if you like 88 Fortunes better or if you like them both. Um, I like this one better because it's more beautiful to look at, I guess you could say. I like the music, um, the graphics up here look good, and the game actually does play with you. I haven't really had that much luck on 88 Fortunes uh, compared to Fudale, so kind of impartial, I guess. But, but I don't know. I, I, if, if I had this much in the casino, I'd probably do 888, but I'd have to win big on minimum bet to start getting a little to bet this high. This is an extreme bet for me. I know all the other people on YouTube love to do the 888 bets, but I have to win big at the casino and want to gamble it. Uh, what I do love about this game is, and I think it's on 88 Fortunes as well, 
is that the bonus symbols are also wild. So if you trigger the bonus, you're going to get a, a line pay, which boosts up your bonus. And um, like something like that, instead of cop blocking you, it's actually wild. And I absolutely love that. And I believe this is Bally's first game that used the mystery symbols that, that do a reveal. I've never seen the, oh, come on, come on. Got it. Okay, now this is a predetermined bonus. That means you, you are allowed to let your friends pick for you. Um, so whatever's gonna hit is what's meant to hit because they don't show you the results afterwards. So let's see. Probably gonna be a mini. Now it's the mini. It was all predetermined, so it didn't matter where I picked. Such uplifting music. Oh, hey, come on, come on. Oh, almost had the envelopes. Oh my goodness. I know on 38 cent bet, if you get a full screen of like nines, it's like $80. It's crazy. I can't believe like the, the, the potential of the big wins are there and they do show up because I've gotten plenty of big wins on this at minimum bet. And if I were to add up all my wins and losses, I think I'm ahead on this game. I hardly ever lose on this. But then again, I'm very disciplined when I play it. It's $40 only. If it's a tight machine, I get off. And never look back. Uh, there are a couple other games that also have the red envelope. Uh, Super Red Phoenix. Um, Super Riser Raw. Dragon Rising. And Heavenly uh, Fortunes or whatever it's called. It's another Asian. They actually use the Food Elite music for the, the count up. Um, I think those are the only ones that have the red envelope. I can't think of any others. Looks like these guys need to be tickled. And uh, they ended up making a sequel to this called Chen, uh, Zen Chan which has a frog in the middle, and he, in the bonus, they took away the multipliers, and instead, uh, the frog can puke up more wilds. Um, I don't know if that's better than the multiplier. Uh, I haven't played Zen Chan enough to, to see which one I like better, if I like the multipliers or the puking wilds. Let me know in the comments below what you think of that. Uh, Zen Chan's only in Vegas and I live in Arizona and we haven't gotten them yet, so. With as popular as Food Ale is, I'm surprised they haven't brought Zen Chan over yet. And it's exactly the same symbols and everything except for there's a frog. Nope. Those selfish babies. Uh, it, it's the same graphics and everything except for there's a frog in the middle that the music and everything's the same. Except for there's ribbits in the uh, music. Kind of getting quiet. Uh, when you're betting $8.88, the red envelope. There we go. God, that music's awesome. Here comes the mini. Oh. Told you.
Now that is also a wild symbol. It nudges and can give you the uh, progressive bonus. Let's see if we can hit that envelope. We haven't gotten any babies to come out. Oh, uh, when the babies come out, I think that's one of Bally's best tells. They call them, uh, they call that feature a tell because it's telling you something good, good is about to happen. And I think that, that is the best use of a tell with those babies coming up with the lantern and giggling and uh, it's very noticeable. And when you see those things, when you see the babies come up, you, there it is, there it is. So good, so good. All right, we got another bonus. Nice. At first I didn't like the tells, but they kind of grown on me. Because you don't know what you're going to get. You have no idea what you're going to get. All right, let's do it. that I do miss about playing this at home besides it being sideways uh, is the curve screen the the wave um, what a awesome looking cabinet aristocrats stole their idea but Bally was the first one to release a wave cabinet where the screens curved and uh, it really makes this game uh, a unique experience because when I see this on a vertical screen, it's it just it's just not the same. It's flat and just doesn't have that nice curve to it. Let's see if we can get an envelope. All right. Oh, let's see what the babies bring. Good fortune has arrived. Oh, another bonus. <laughs> I'd like to get a bonus and the envelopes at the same time. That is possible. Eight more free games. We already won 1776. Let's go. Oh, oh. Come on, babies, come on now.
Well, this looks like a shitty bonus. <laughs> oh. oh. We need those babies to come out. Come on. There, on the last spin. Come on. Is that a hand pay? Is that a hand pay? <laughs> nope. All right, that was nice. Now that's a big win. Now that's a good win. I'll take that. Let's see if we can get the envelope now. Oh, here they come again. Good fortune has arrived. Oh, the full screen attends. Nice. That's a hand pay. <laughs> Look at that, a full screen of tens. It's just tens. That was a fucking hand pay. First hand pay on the slot museum. All right, let's see if we can earn that envelope now. Wow. <laughs> Most of the time they tease you like that. Especially at lower bets. Oh, we got another bonus. <laughs> All right, here we go again. Eight more free games here on Food LA.
bring me those envelopes. Don't be selfish, babies. There it is. themselves with this one the math is it is there some of you might disagree but seriously valley games are usually tough they go through long periods of dry spells and it's hard to win on them foodily has usually always been kind to me have always been kind to me so um i'm probably ahead i'm probably in the green and not in the red in that game and i'm being completely honest I always bet 88 cents. Sometimes I go higher or lower depending on my bankroll, but I'm always, I tell everybody, I always at least bet 88 cents. A 38 cent bet, yes, you can do very well, but your mind isn't programmed where you win $100 on a 38 cent set. That's an extraordinary win. You're not gonna do that again, probably. But maybe you could. That game's unpredictable. But anyway, like, subscribe, and comment below on what you think about Foodily. Until the next time, thanks for watching the Slot Museum. We'll see you manana. Nice hit there. Let's take a look at the top screen. Or the eye deck. <laughs>